What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com. Recapping the news from yesterday. Like always, we post it first on SneakerFiles.com, and then we take it to YouTube. A lot of stuff to talk about. A lot from Nike, some from Jordan Brand. Those two obviously are going to take over this video, but there's a little bit from Adidas and Puma. Now, the highlight from this video, it really depends on what you like. If you're a fan of Nike basketball stuff, then cool. Like the Nike KD-10, that leaked. Man, we'll get into that in a bit. Also, a new Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG also leaked. You guys probably already seen it. It was on sneakerfiles.com, and I'm sure it's been floating around everywhere else, but it's known as Triple Black. Now, without wasting too much of your time, let's jump into the news. Staple Design and Puma will further their collaborations with the Staple Design Puma Clyde Glacier Gray. So this pair features black and glacier gray across the uppers. As you can see, the medial side features gray while the lateral is done in black and all suede across the uppers and black on the midsole and outsole. They are dropping May 6th at select Puma retailers. One of them will be overkill overseas. So I'm not sure if a stateside drop will be the same day nor do I know a retail price as of yet, but stay tuned. We have another collaboration with Puma. This is by Washington DC based Commonwealth and the model they picked is the Puma Ignite Evo Knit. As you can see, white covers pretty much the whole base as well as the midsole, but the midsole has some speckled detailing. Now across the support strap, we have a mixture of green and red as well as a little bit of black and then orange on the back heel tab. A second set of laces are included, which comes in neon green, which gives them a 90s retro vibe. They are dropping May 13th, retail will be 150 and they will be available at Commonwealth retailers as well as their online store. You may remember the Adidas A16 Plus Pure Control Ultra Boost known as Champagne that we previewed some time back. Adidas unveiled some images as well as additional information. So the shoes are inspired by David Beckham's Predator Mania soccer cleats that were worn during the 90s. The release date which was originally being reported to take place on May 2nd is actually going to be May 3rd. So by the time this goes live, these would have been sold out because a lot of people will be flocking. Now in the rare chance that it doesn't sell out, they will be available at adidas.com. Retail will be 200. Sometime back we showcased a few different packs from Nike Sportswear featuring Safari. And the real difference here or the added in information is the release date. But one comes in varsity maze, the other in white and black, and the last features hyper turquoise. So if you're interested in grabbing them, they're dropping May 11th. Retail will be 140. The second pack will include four pairs of the Nike Air Presto and of course that forms the Safari pack. Now also dropping on May 11th and we recapped this before but just a quick rundown. White University Red Black is the first one. The second comes in University Gold, Black and White. The third in Gym Red, Racer Blue and White. Last but not least is the Turbo Green, Court Purple and Pure Platinum. Retail price is 140. Some time back we showed you a first look at the Nike Air Max Flare and right off the bat you guys probably already know inspiration comes from the Nike Air More of Tempo. But today we're showing you a closer look at the triple black as well as the release date. So as you can see black runs across the uppers which blacks out the Air Max unit as well and then Air is written across which was taken from the Air More of Tempo and that is done in anthracite. Dropping May 20th, we don't have a retail price as of yet, but stay tuned for that. Another thing is you could probably expect a few additional colorways to drop, but honestly, I do like the model. It just seems like a lot of people are hating on them, but to each his own. It looks like Nike Sportswear is also gonna drop the Nike Air Vapor Max in trainer form. The name has yet to be confirmed, but here is a couple colorways of upcoming, well, potentially upcoming releases. Instead of flying it, we have mesh and as well, reinforced mud guards. One pair comes in purple and black, while the second kind of has that great Air Max 95 theme to it. We don't have a release date, retail price, or anything like that. However, it's possible to see them drop during the summer, and retail price has yet to be confirmed. However, it should be a lot less than the 190 we're paying for the Nike Air Vapor Max. By the time summer's over, Iridescent will probably cover a good amount of Nike retro releases. Here we have the Nike Air Force 107 LV8, known as Iridescent Pack. Now, a few of these pairs from the Iridescent Pack have already released. Like, I've seen them in retailers and I'm sure if you guys freak with them you would have seen them too but one features an anthracite and stealth colorway but really the iridescent across the uppers that makes it look like it features a bit more shades than that 
and that also comes with the smoky translucent midsole and outsole. The second comes in still blue, summit white, and black, and that pair has a white midsole and outsole, and then the still blue hits the tongue and almost like a copper type purple red hue to it across the base. Last but not least is the track red summit white and black. Track red hits the tongue as well as the insole and then the base itself which has an iridescent finish is done in red. White covers the midsole and outsole to complete the look. So although a few of these already have dropped I'm sure more retailers will have all three very soon so be on the lookout for that. A couple colorways of a new model from Nike Lab has leaked and this is known as the Nike Lab ACG07 CMTR and I believe the CMTR stands for comfort which we've seen the tag used on a few past retro models. Here is a brand new model like I said. One comes in black anthracite and white. The second is done in obsidian black and khaki. They feature a laceless design, it has a booty like fit as well as a buckle across the uppers. No retail price but they are dropping May 18th at Nike Lab retailers as well as online at nikelab.com. Just before the Nike Basketball Flip to Switch collection releases, we got official images for a few pairs a part of that pack, here is the Nike LeBron 14. So this pair features a predominant white base and it also comes with black and university red accents. From the collection this is the only pair with a white base but completing the look is a broken swoosh as well as a translucent outsole. They're dropping May 5th. Retail is $175. Um, one of the better LeBron 14s I've seen but later in this video is one of my personal favorites. The second pair to showcase from the Flip the Switch collection is the Nike Kyrie 3. Now these are the official images which kind of glorifies the shoe but it looks actually really nice. So we have a black base upper, speckled detailing across the midsole, the broken swoosh once again on the panels, and they also feature deep royal blue and photo blue, and it looks like hits of purple. Kind of has that aqua feel to them to be honest. So also dropping May 5th, retail is 120. This part of the video is pretty much filled up with official images, and today the Nike LeBron 14 bread official images also landed. We've already gone over this shoe twice now, but really quick black university red translucent outsole a clean look and they're dropping may 19th retail is 175 so if you haven't guessed it this is the pair that i personally really like i promise this is the last set of official images from nike in this video here we have the nike Kyrie 3 eybl so what we can take away from these official images is that a release more than likely will happen Usually when official images get loaded onto the Nike server, that means a release is going to happen sooner rather than later. In most cases, that is. Originally thought to be an exclusive to participants in the annual Elite Youth Basketball League, this pair, I believe, is glow in the dark. I can't tell because we have a white base and then one of the images shows it's in all orange. Although Nike has yet to say anything, it's just more of a hunch and it's probably a valid hunch. We also have blue and yellow speckled across the midsole and unique graphics on the Nike swoosh as well as the liner and inside of the tongue. There isn't a release date at the time of shooting nor a retail price. It's possible to retail for 120. Nike may bump the price up a bit yet, but be on the lookout for another update coming soon. Yesterday a first look at the Nike KD10 leaked and you know I tried to stay away from roasting or you know getting on brands. I give my opinion here and there but what was Nike basketball thinking? Now I apologize if you're a fan of this model in the KD line. I just, from a perspective, uh, look, this pair looks like a low top Nike KD9 Elite. So the shoe, just to give you a bit of information, it features flying it across the uppers and all white, we have pure platinum and metallic silver. Now there's a cage and that is done in suede and I'm not really sure if that cage is really meant for support or even help lockdown. I guess it kind of would help with lockdown since it's tied into the lacing system. Thick laces once again, low top build and the midsole and visible zoom air unit obviously is taken from the KD9. So for the KD10, I thought they would do a rehaul, um, totally switch things up because the KD8 terrible in my opinion kd9 was a little bit better but overall i'm just i didn't like them and the kd10 is just really a modified kd9 elite like i said it's really hard to believe this is the nike kd10 however there's a box in the background and there's an x so it's gotta be um i really would think this is the nike kd9 elite low if they were dropping it but this colorway is set to drop on june 5th no retail price as of yet 
it should come down from the 150 i believe because it's a low top but who knows what's going on with that expect a few more colorways to leak in the next couple weeks maybe even a month so but leave a comment below and just let me know if you made it this far at least what are your thoughts on the kd10 on to Jordan brand and we have additional images of the Air Jordan 1 linen. Yes, they are the official images once again, but there's better news with this. They are available now at Nike.com. Retail price is 95. One thing I did want to make a note on is, well, most of you guys already know this is a grade school exclusive, but it seems like a lot of people are filling the Air Jordan 1 linen as well as the Air Jordan 4 linen. The only thing um, that helps some people out is they will be available in extended grade school sizes. Images today leaked of a new Jordan Trunner LX and this pair is known as Thunder. So the nickname is tied to the Air Jordan 4 Thunder release and as you can see predominant black upper, black across the base, liner and heel and then we have Opti Yellow that lands on the strap as well as the branding, outsole and a little bit on the midsole. No set release date but they're expected to drop during May, retail is 120 Um, I personally like what they're doing with the Jordan Trunner LX, I like the model and I'm liking most of these colorways they're putting out. Um, but today or yeah today I will have the review up of the OG colorway in black and red. Fans of the Air Jordan 1, we have a new pair that's set to drop sometime in June. This is the Retro High OG being called Triple Black. So they don't feature a full Triple Black theme. Most people associate Triple Black from being just blacked out. And this pair does feature a lot of black. You see it across the panels, most of the tongue, midsole, outsole, heel, so on, so on. But there's a little bit of red that lands on the Nike Air branding on the tongue as well as the branding on the insole. The leather used looks like it's quite tumbled in premium as well so that's always a plus and the wings branding by the collar is debossed. So no set release date dropping sometime in June retail is 160 Um, You know I personally like these I think they're dope but I feel like this is another Jordan 1 that may sit on shelves for a while and drop in price. It just really depends on availability. Um, usually the more hyped up releases have like a theme or an OG colorway. Um, although this comes in OG style and I personally think they're dope and they're easy to wear, match with, I just feel like it'll sit. But more information like always on the way. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. Also, if you didn't catch the Air Jordan 1 metallic red review, there will be a link in the description below pointing you over to that. So from this video, the stuff I like, um, well, not like enough to buy, but I do like the Kyrie 3 flip the switch as well as the LeBron 14. But stuff I probably will wind up buying is the LeBron 14 bread, the Nike Kyrie 3 EYBL, that's if they do release because it's really up in the air at the time of shooting this. The Jordan Trunner LX Thunder, uh, you know, it depends if I catch them on sale and I'm feeling like I want to buy a pair of shoes, then yes, I will grab those. Also the Air Jordan 1 OG Triple Black, I think that's dope. It's a clean shoe overall, easy to match with, you know, I already said all this, but I feel like it's a, a pair that's not going to receive much hype for, so that's always a plus. But leave a comment below, let me know what you like from this video, disliked, thanks for watching, stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.